thing because it's right in line with the Model S and the Model X. So welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about hard everybody's favorite topic, hardware 4.0. It looks like some things were leaked today. We're very early on, but uh, some CPU was leaked or some part, of course, the when I say CPU, the hardware was leaked. And we also got some visibility on parking sensors or, you know, an adjustment of parking sensors, where they're going and where they will they will be at on these vehicles. So if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on your Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can actually schedule a call with me. But more on that later. All right, so let's jump into this. Shout out to Green or Green at Green the Only on Twitter. Looks like he was able to find a or get a picture of the actual hardware 4.0. And here's a quote. I'm sure you're all eager to know more about hardware 4.0 or 4. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to show you the refreshed car computer from a Model X. Just don't tell anybody you saw it because it's really a secret still. This unit made an appearance at the EPC about a month ago, but the picture was hidden. It looks like Tesla started to build cars with it, but does not deliver them yet. I imagine the plan is announced on March 1st and that all cars off the line are already having it. The bad with sort of news is the form factor is totally different. So definitely no retrofit on this. Top left is new. Bottom left is current plaid unit. And then it gets into more stuff like all the technicals and all that stuff, but uh, we probably won't get into there. But that's, I mean, that's big in the sense that no retrofit. So if you've got the current one or if you took delivery pretty recently, uh, I mean, this really only has to affect with like autopilot and full self-driving, but more so full self-driving if you've got like those cool features with that. Autopilot will work perfectly fine. It already does work perfectly fine. Now, of course, there are, uh, I don't know if I want to say issues. There's people like to uh, point out phantom braking, but um, you know it's it's really just it's a computer. It does weird things on certain highways over overpasses and whatever. But uh, you once you start to understand why it might be doing that, uh, it's a a different story at the end of the day. But let's jump into this. Uh, shout out to not a Tesla but app. First look at the hardware 4.0 from Green. The only uh, quote more powerful computer. Computer has different form factors, so no retrofits. Cars appear to manufacture with new hardware now, but not being delivered. Hardware, re hardware redundancy across the board. 12 camera connections. One labeled as spare, but looks like it will include new cameras. Higher power consumption and will include radar with radar heater. So we did hear about this earlier and how the, the new vision will include vision plus radar, but uh, you know, definitely some pretty interesting stuff. And then here's another tweet from Holzmar Catalog. Green says that there's 12 camera slots on the hardware floor with one marked spare, so 11 cameras. Right now we have eight cameras plus cam and cam, so nine, possibly two known cameras. Quote, someone at Tesla told me they added two cameras in the fog lamp headlights to replace the front USS. So you can see here, this is just a bumper. There's no headlight here, but it, someone was able to actually get a picture. It's kind of a blurry picture here, but hardware 4.0, new cameras inside headlight. He's got an arrow pointer here, and it kind of looks like a camera in the headlight. I don't think I've noticed that anywhere else, but this looks like a European, you know, that new color, the silver. And so that might be a hidden one that uh, seems to be pretty smart, like, right? Put it in the headlights because the light comes from there anyway. It's not going to mess with the body and all that stuff and that streamline and design and all that stuff. So pretty interesting stuff. That's for sure. I mean, we're on the cusp. Now we're starting to get, you know, more excited about hardware 4.0, but really it's, it's for me that I understand it. It's only for full self-driving and not necessarily autopilot. And the thing with Tesla is like uh, Tesla Raj made a video about like buying tips for Tesla. And he said a really good thing is like, you can never predict Tesla and you can never time Tesla. Tesla prices will go up. Tesla prices go down. New technology technology gets released constantly, not like at the end of the year or the beginning of the model year. It's not like other legacy manufacturers that will release like three to four features at the beginning of the new model year. Tesla just constantly, just at any moment will 
make the cars better or add a different feature, like case in point, like matrix headlights on the Model Y, like Fremont has it, but Austin does it. And they introduced that with the Model Y performance like years ago in 2021. So it's, it's all over the place. Like, so really I just, you know, my piece of advice is, you know, you're this, when you buy a Tesla, it's not going to be your only car or your only Tesla. I mean, most people probably the average ownership life of buying a car is what, five, four to five years, give or take. And so, you know, at the same time, I do know there's a lot of people out there that uh, might have a distaste for Tesla because of what they've done. But, you know, they're trying to, you know, maybe by raising the increase for raising the price increases, they're trying to figure out what, uh, you know, what they did wrong there. But there's always going to be another car, another technology, a newer car. And so maybe just get it on the next one <laughs> at the end of the day. But I, I certainly understand you always want, you know, we, we all want the latest and greatest and the best but uh, it seems like Harbor 4 is coming out but uh, you know timing is really thing we'll probably hear more about this on February 1st or sorry March 1st at investor day and we'll most likely see uh, them trying to roll out after that but we're going to jump into some of the comments and some of the questions but before we do that this video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below the description is a patreon link where you support the channel and there's a variety of benefits but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla selling a Tesla even financing a Tesla and after you schedule the call you get a link to my buying guide which has links to all the resources that I use to get the best possible deal at the best possible price including a couple of credit unions and interest Banks on that list have interest rates as low as 2.5% to 3.2% from 60 to 80 months. So definitely check it out if you're interested.